According to a report from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPI, China has taken the lead in 37 out of 44 key technologies essential for the future, including electric batteries, hypersonics, and advanced radio communications. Meanwhile, the United States continue to lead in certain fields such as vaccines, quantum computing, and space launch systems. This report is notable because ASPI has history of being critical of China. But in this case, the organization had no choice but to acknowledge China's innovation advantage. In fact, all of the world's top 10 research institutions in some of these technologies are based in China and they are producing nine times more high impact research papers than their closest competitor, the United States. Although China's dominance in these areas may not come as a surprise, it is the result of a deliberate strategy by Chinese leaders to gain an innovation advantage over the US. An article in the Harvard Business Review argues that China's aging population has contributed to this innovation advantage. Over the last five decades, China has made significant progress in poverty alleviation and has become a manufacturing powerhouse, elevating around 700 million people out of poverty and into the middle class. This economic growth was not primarily driven by innovation but by producing other countries' inventions. Initially, Chinese made products lacked quality, but with time, Chinese factories and their workers improved their skills, leading to the best quality price ratio in the world. Western companies shifted their production facilities to China to take advantage of this opportunity. However, China's aging population and the one-child policy have caused a decrease in the workforce. By 2030, there will be 81 million fewer workers in China than in 2015. Chinese leaders, including Xi Jinping, have been focusing on shifting China away from manufacturing and towards becoming a world leader in innovation. This pivot from China went unnoticed by many in the West. In 2014, a Harvard Business Review article titled Why China Can't Innovate captured the prevalent view in the West that China could only imitate and not innovate. However, just two years later, eight of the ten fastest companies to reach a $1 billion valuation were Chinese, with six of those eight being founded in 2014. The number of Chinese startups valued at over $1 billion, known as unicorns, is increasing so rapidly that the term may have to be changed to dragons in the future. This growth can be attributed to China's ability to adopt and adapt to new technology faster than any other population on the planet. In 2012, the messaging app WeChat was introduced and quickly became an integral part of daily life in China, with even the elderly population embracing the technology. China's young generation was born after 1990 are poised to shape the future of the country and disrupt industries globally. With over 700 million people under the age of 40 who have lived through a remarkable technological transformation, China has, ex China has experienced tremendous growth in GDP per capita compared to other countries, including the United States. The Chinese youth have witnessed a massive increase of 33 times in GDP per capita in their lifetime due to the technological transformation that has occurred in China, making it the fastest changing country in the world. This has become a way of life for the Chinese people and is the reason why China is rapidly becoming a leading country in innovation. In 1990, China's GDP only represented less than 2% of the global total, but by 2022, it accounts for 18.6% of the entire global economy. Apple CEO Tim Cook recently visited Beijing and spoke about how Apple became the most valuable company in the world by making the most innovative products and manufacturing them in China. Where there is a large quantity of skilled workers who are experts in precision tooling, the Harvard Business Review has published new articles about how Chinese companies are reinventing management 
by giving their staff autonomy and using digital tools on a large scale. A decade ago, Howard Business Review published articles claiming that China lacked innovation. However, now they are publishing articles on Chinese management and encouraging American firms to learn from them. It is crucial for us to understand and work with China as they play a significant role in the global economy and are inventing technologies that will shape our future. China has an advantage in innovation as shown by their early rollout of 60 services and the introduction of 60 mobile applications by 2025. Chinese millennials will be the ones leading the way in changing the world. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for watching and your support. Please subscribe to our channel.